إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو المهتد ومن يطلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد إخوتي في الله فاعلموا أن خير الكلام كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة كل بدعة ضلالة كل ضلالة في النار Last Saturday, last Sunday, was it? No, Thursday, I'm sorry. We talked about the tafsir and the reflection, or I should say, the reflection on the ayah. لا ترفعوا أصواتكم As you should not raise your voices over the voice of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we talked about what happened when Al-Aqra bin Habis radiyallahu an brought his sha'ir and his khatib and then finally he accepted Islam and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam concluded his statement by saying مَا يَضُرُّكَ مَا كَانَ قَبْلَ هَذَا means that nothing will harm you from your past Nothing will bother you. Since you may declare the shahada, nothing will harm you. We talked about how we should address the Messenger of Allah and the behavior that we should have concerning dealing Rasulullah, with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today, the next ayat, they're talking about different angles. Of social issues. As we stated earlier, Surah Al Hujurat is a surah that is dealing with social issues. This one is dealing how the state, the government, how should they deal with the people who are living under their authority. Now, look, listen to this. Al-Islam is asking you as a Muslim to behave certain way. He's asking the cup, husband and wife, to behave a certain way. He's asking the family, father, mother and the children, to behave a certain way. He's also asking the community to behave a certain way. That's why, as a community, if you have a little musalla, the sharia tells you, close your musalla and come to the main masjid. And then from that, in that small community, now, Islam will teach us through this ayah, how the state, the people of authority, how should they deal with general Muslims? This is known, brothers and sisters, as Adab al-Siyasiyya al-Shari'iyya. The etiquette, the political etiquette, 
that based on Sharia. Now, the upcoming five ayat are dealing with this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yaqul, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِنْ جَاءَكُمْ فَاسِقٌ بِالنَّبَئٍ فَتَبَيَّنُوا أَنْ تُصِيبُوا قَوْمًا بِجَهَالَةٍ فَتُصْبِحُوا عَلَى مَا فَعَلْتُمْ نَادِمِينَ Ayah number one. Allah is saying to the believers, O oh, you who believe in a condition, جَاءَكُمْ فَاسِقْ is if... A, a rebellious individual comes to you be never with the news and kalimati never amma yatasa'aluna an naba and allah say in ja'akum bin naba means if they come to you with a news yaqul fatabayyanu verify and tusibu qawman that you may hurt people be jahala ignorantly not knowing the truth فَتُصْبِحُ عَلَى مَا فَعَلْتُمْ نَادِمِينَ and you will regret for what you did and then he said وَعْلَمُوا and you should know أَنَّ فِيكُمْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ that the messenger of Allah is with you why? لَوْ يُطِيعُكُمْ فِي كَثِيرٍ مِنَ الْأَمْرِ لَعَنِتُمْ if he follows you with every claim that you come up with you will go through hardship and difficulties. قَالَ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ حَبَّبَ إِلَيْكُمُ الْإِيمَانِ It's a favor from Allah that Allah made this iman sweet in your heart. وَزَيَّنَهُ فِي قُلُوبِكُمْ And He beautified this iman in your heart. وَكَرَّهَ إِلَيْكُمْ And He made you dislike and hate الْكُفْرِ Disbelief. الْفُسُوق In rebellious. والعسيان and disobedience of Allah and then he said the people of that quality and characteristic أولئك هم الراشدون they are the guided ones now let us go back let us go and take this ayat one after another imagine you the estate imagine you the person in charge I come to you with the news and you say, let's take the soldiers and let us teach that person a lesson. And this person comes and says, you know, the neighboring government or the state or the country, they're plotting against you, let us go attack them. If Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would listen to you with everything that you say, you would suffer. You will go through hardship. Now, let us see how the Sharia dealt with these issues. Number one, at thabbut bil akhbar. At thabbut fil akhbar. First thing is, you have to verify the news. In ja'akum fasiq, if a fasiq comes to you, yaqulu Allah, fatabayyanu. Why? Why the government have to verify this? Especially nowadays when you have, subhanAllah, if you go back to Muslim countries, and you go and you see, you really interview the people in prison. They're Muslim. You will find this person was, was jailed or in prison because a report was written about him. Who's the person who, write, who wrote the report? It's unknown. لا إله إلا الله طيب متى المحاكمة when is his trial nobody knows why is he guilty nobody knows we had a brother mashallah had a brother he's living in one of the Muslim countries and when Salman Rushdi an evil man when he wrote the e his evil book about the messenger of Allah, Khomeini, what did he say about it? He said, if he, who, whosoever brings me his head, receives such, such millions of dollars. So this brother, he said, he did not say anything else. He said, look what this guy is doing. We label him kafir, 